the introduction of electronic referral or e-referral for CAMS, the Child Adolescent Mental Health Service. Hello, my name is Una Brown and together with Kieran Collin, Anka Trulia, Anja Sudison, Claire O'Halloran and Don Munro, our project aimed to establish electronic referrals between general practitioners and CAMS, starting with the CAMS Intellectual Disability Services in Cork. When we first began this project, our initial project looked quite different. We originally planned to introduce electronic discharge between the maternity hospitals and public health nurses. Unfortunately, we soon realised this project was not feasible in the timeline available, both in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, which impacted on staff availability through redeployment, and as there were ongoing issues with regards to how to connect electronic discharges with individual public health nurses. This was both due to issues with the unique identifier for public health nurses and as new mothers aren't always provided with the name of their public health nurse at the time of discharge. However, all was not lost, as through this process we developed some key insights. We now understood the infrastructure and benefits of HealthLink, had established links with the HealthLink services and had developed our own project management skills. This allowed for an easy transition to the current project, which involved setting up electronic referral between GPs and CAMS ID. CAMS stands for the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services, and it provides assessment and treatment to young people up until the age of 18 with a mental health disorder. Let's take John, for example, who has a history of autism and intellectual disability. When John became really upset and unwell during the COVID pandemic, he became increasingly anxious and his behaviour became more challenging. He took this out on his younger sister. Prior to the introduction of e-referral, John's referral to CAMS would have been processed as follows. Patients and their parents would visit their GP, who would subsequently complete a very detailed five-page long referral form, which would need to be posted or faxed to the local CAMS ID team. For John's parents, this was not a secure, traceable or efficient process. Our project group set about finding a digital solution to improve this process. To do this, we needed to engage with multiple stakeholders. We then completed an as-is analysis of the current process. This analysis concluded that up to 66% of referrals received by CAMS ID were incomplete, delaying the triage process further by an average of 20 days. Our digital solution provides electronic referral direct from the GP through HealthLink to CAMS ID, reducing the current five-page referral form to a short online one-page document, which can be accessed via HealthLink with the support to staff using the system of training and guidance documents. So thanks to our digital solution, John's parents can visit their GP, who immediately sends an e-referral to the CAMS ID team the pilot site for e-referral in Cork. As a result, the referral is instantly received by the CAMS ID team. We're able to phone the GP and John's parents to advise them of what to do in the interim while they're waiting for a follow-up appointment with CAMS ID. Our pilot project helped confirm the need for a more specialist national referral form. And we conducted a national survey to identify key information required for triage of CAMS ID patients. This new system has already brought about a number of key benefits, both for CAMS ID staff, patients and GPs alike. We conducted a local survey of GPs who had engaged with the system and noted an overwhelmingly positive response. After implementing the e-referral form for CAMS ID, we noted an increased completeness of referral forms from 34% increased to 90%. There was a reduced average waiting time from 47 days to seven days for the referral process. And predicted average waiting time of referral to appointment will be reduced to 41%. To date, the feedback from GPs and staff has been extremely positive with testimonials from Dr. Frank Hill and Professor Connor DC. Since the introduction of e-referral system, we've seen significant improvements to our overall referral process. The team is spending much less time triaging referrals than it was before, much less time following up on incomplete referral forms. And the added efficiency of this whole digital system has significantly freed up both administrative and staff time. And that time then is actually then being used for um, patient care. So I'm delighted with the e-referral system and hope it continues. 
So what now? We are currently in the process of getting approval from the Irish College of General Practitioners for a nationally agreed specialist CAMS ID e-referral form, which has already been approved by the Mental Health for Intellectual Disabilities Development Office. Once approved, we will be in a position to implement the national standardised e-referral form across all CAMS ID services in Ireland. Thank you for listening.